Samsung Galaxy Note 8 S Pen Tutorial. That video is coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and today we're going to do a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 S Pen tutorial, the main selling point of this smartphone, otherwise you might just want to buy yourself an S8 Plus. So we're going to talk about many sections of this to help those out of you who don't really know how to use the S Pen to its full capabilities. Now this is kind of like a whole nother feature set in the phone itself. I mean the S Pen is so in depth that we can do a whole video about this here. So I want to begin with the specifications of the S Pen. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and begin by talking about some of the improved specifications with the S Pen. So it is tucked away here in its slot and the S Pen is now about 0.7 millimeters thick on the nib. So the nib right here is definitely improved to make it feel more like a pen over what we had on prior Samsung Galaxy Note 8 devices. Now in terms of its height and its width, it's about the same as what we found on the previous version, slightly improved. However, this is improved to IP68 dust and water resistance. So you can write with this in the rain and you're not gonna have no issues with it whatsoever. And depending on the color you get, it should match your phone. And you do have your air command button right there on the pen now it still is plastic and it still does have its click which makes it feel more like a real pen and there's no issues about jamming your pen into your note 8 that's not going to happen here for samsung galaxy note 8 so other than that it's a very light pen but it definitely feels small in comparison to something like an apple pencil but again this is a phone and that's pretty much all i want to talk about with the pen itself now do remember that samsung does include a clip in the box to pull the nibs out of the S Pen and they give you five nibs in the box just in case you break those on the tip of the pen. So you should be good for the lifetime of your device. You might not ever even need these and if you do have to replace the S Pen, it should be pretty cheap to do so. Okay guys, so we're gonna begin on the lock screen with the S Pen for the Note 8. Now the Note 8 brings one of the most awesome features ever to the Note and that is the ability to have notes on your lock screen always on display. So this only works if you have always on display enabled for your Samsung Note 8. But you can see I did write some note here from last week I wanted to show you in this video. And if I go ahead and double click it here, here is all my notes straight from the lock screen and they will hold on your always on display so you can see your notes all day. Now if you do pull the pen out here, you do have the ability to edit these notes as well so you can just scratch them out and stuff like that as you go throughout your day. So this is really good for people who wanna have to-do lists or you just wanna keep notes handy on your lock screen. So let's go ahead and lock the screen here. And it's locked now, it is on always on display. Now if I do pull this pen out like so, at this point, I can write any note right here. So if I say, hello, nice day, you can see it's gonna write the note as we would like, as it's done in the past here. Not the best handwriting in the world, but whatever, we're just showcasing the pen features. So over here on the pen, you can see you do have different thickness levels for your writing. You can change the pen size right there. And this will just erase whatever you click on, so whatever characters you click on. And then here is where you pin to your lock screen. So if you go ahead and click the pin here, you're gonna be able to pin that to their lock screen. Now, if you do have a prior note, it's gonna ask you if you wanna replace this with the new note, and then you will say right here, pin to always on display. That's basically confirming it. And there we have that new note we just wrote right there. Now again, this is the lock screen functionality. If you do have always on display off on your Samsung Galaxy Note 8, this is not gonna work. So what I mean by that is if we go into settings here, and let's go ahead and type in always on display. If we go into always on display, if you turn this off now, now your always on display won't be on. And if you pull the S Pen out, all you'll have the ability to do is write notes just like in the past. You're gonna see there's no longer a pen icon right there. So this is better for people who just wanna write quick notes and they don't wanna be distracted by you know notes on their lock screen. You know. To some people it's productive, to some that might be distracting. So it's it can go both ways here for the Note 8. But that's the S Pen on the lock screen for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. That should help you out in discovering how that works. It's pretty plain and simple. And you could also just save in notes on the lock screen as well, which will go directly to your Samsung Notes application. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and check out a lot of the S Pen settings now. So the S Pen is so in-depth that it has its own settings section here for the Note 8. So let's check them out and see what they do here. So you go in the settings and go under advanced features here, and you're gonna see manage S Pen features. So I pretty much have everything turned on. I am a 
power user of the Note 8. So AirView number one is basically a thing that's gonna hover over information, text, images, stuff on the screen like that. And it's very easy to use. You can use it on pictures, you can use it to scroll down as well, and you can use it to hover over links and things like that. So it's like a pen pointing tool basically that's gonna show you a preview of what you're gonna do before you actually click that field. So going back, we do have direct pen input. And what direct pen input basically does is allows you to hover the S Pen over a text field and then tap the button it appears on the screen as it says right there. I mean, there's no other really way to explain it than the way Samsung just wrote it right there. It's pretty easy to use on direct pen input. Now, pointer here is gonna allow you to use a pointer over the pen. So what that is is right here, I'll show you in a second. So let me pull out the S Pen you're gonna see that's air command. You're gonna see on the screen, there's like this little dot there. That's the pointer. So if I turn that off, you're not gonna see it anymore on the screen. It's kind of good for those people who wanna like read stuff and see that little pointer. Kind of lets you know where your S Pen is at. So you see that little pointer moving around on the screen there. You might not see this. Let me zoom in just a little bit more so you can see this a little bit better. So that little pointer right there behind the pen, that's what I'm talking about there. Now, in terms of screen off memo, we already talked about that. That was where we could write with the screen off. So we, we talked about that one in depth already. And air command shortcuts, we're gonna talk about air command in just a second here. And the floating icon, so that's this right here. If you don't like that to be floating all the time, you can move this basically wherever you want. But if you don't want that floating all the time, you could just turn that off as well. I kind of like it. Now, when you have the S Pen removed, you can actually tell this what to do. You can actually have it just create a note. You can have it do nothing or open air command when you pull it out of its slot on your home screens. So you can also have alarms here when you wanna have your, if you walk away from your S Pen, it'll go beep, 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 beep on your phone. So you make sure that you get your S Pen back in its slot because we don't wanna lose that S Pen. That's a great tool. Even though they're not that much to replace, we still don't wanna lose the one that we did purchase with our phone. In addition to that, there's a power saver mode here in the S Pen functionality, and we do have sound feedback, which basically will change the sounds when you are inserting it and removing it from its slot. Also, we have vibration. If you like to feel a little vibration when you pull the S Pen out, it's a pretty cool feel. It lets you know, like I just pulled my pen out, the phone will vibrate, you'll feel it from the back of your hand and stuff like that. And then it has the ability to show you how to learn about S Pen features, but we're showing them here in video form for you. So that's basically the S Pen setting here on the Note 8. Okay guys, so I wanted to go ahead and show you how AirView works in practice here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hover over here over a picture here, and you can see I can see a preview of that picture. It will work with videos as well. So if we wanna play a video, we just go ahead and hold it there and then go inside of that video. Now, you can also use this to kind of scroll as well. So if we scroll down here, you can see the S Pen will scroll. Same with up, it will scroll up as well sometimes it doesn't work on gallery it will work in like websites though when you do scroll up here so going into the internet for example marine article from the verge if i bring it down here a little bit you can see it's going to scroll down and then if you hold it up here it will scroll up as well so that's a pretty cool feature if you ask me for that pen it's been around for a while but it makes its return here on the note. Okay guys, let's go ahead and talk about the air command. So pulling out my pen, I do have it set to air command. This is basically air command right here where you do have the ability to preset shortcuts and stuff like that. So you have the ability to create a note, smart select, and you do have screen write as well as live message. We're gonna go through all of these. Translate, Bixby Vision, coloring, as well as magnify S note. I put S note on this phone. You have to download that separately. And now Samsung Notes comes installed and the glance functionality, which is one of the coolest features here on a note. So if I go into settings, here's where you're gonna be able to change those shortcuts. So we're gonna go back into the settings where we were earlier, and now we're gonna go into the shortcuts under air command. And here is your shortcut settings. So you can delete them right here, and you could add pretty much any apps you want there that's installed on your phone. But the Samsung included stuff is view all notes, translate, we already talked about them here. I basically have every Samsung included feature except for view all notes on there. So the one you might be using the most is create a note. And simply when you hit create a note, it's just gonna create a note. You can say, hello, I'm just using hello, a smiley face right there. And then you can go ahead and extend this out if you want it in the full screen. You can come back down here by minimizing it here. You do have the ability to change your pen in this mode to many different colors and stuff like that. You even have an own color picker here, highlighter. And all of these pens actually make a different sound when you are using them. So that's a nice touch. I haven't seen that in prior notes all of them make a different sound. So that's pretty cool to see there. Now you can go back, like on back, if you make a mistake, just go back again. 
and then you could also go forward as well as you can hit this erase button right here and you could X out the field. You can also save it and you could turn off S Pen only. So let's go ahead and close that out. That's the first error command feature included by Samsung. Now Smart Select is a really cool feature because it allows you to cut out basically anything on the screen here on your note device. And you can use Bixby Vision, which basically tries to analyze what's on your screen and kind of take you to a web and talk about it a little bit more here. Now you can auto select, you can extract text. So you can just pull the text out of these icons here. You can see right there, I'll just extract the text. So that's gonna be really cool. If you're in a browser and you just wanna get the text out of like a picture or something, that's gonna be really cool. You can also pin that to your screen, that cutout that you did on Smart Select. You have a lasso tool if you wanna get really in depth and make like, you know, pictures to put on top of pictures. You have Ovo and one of the favorite features of the Note 7 makes its return here on the Galaxy Note 8. You can also do this on the S8 Plus, but you do it with the pen here, is the animated GIF. So you're gonna go ahead and just hit the square icon, put it where you want. Say there's a video in a browser, you can go ahead and record in high quality and then you could send that GIF out to somebody, you know, whoever you want. So if I hit record here, it's gonna record whatever I'm doing here on the screen and then I hit stop and now it'll just send that. Now there was no video in there so it's not gonna be you know looking all amazing but it's cool to see there. And then you could also draw on that like hello, you can write whatever you want. So it's really in depth here what you can do with making your GIFs. The next feature brings us to screen write and screen write is basically what it says. You take a screenshot and you have the ability to change the pen to whatever you like it, thickness and whatever and you could just write on the screen and say hello, meet me here meet me, I don't know, meet me on my home screen, whatever. But you could see right there, it's gonna give you the ability to write on your screen. And that's one of the coolest features from the note if you're like sending a maps to somebody, say say you're at a location and you know, the person you're talking to don't really have your location, but they can recognize it if you send them on a map, you could say, I am here, and then you could just send it to them just like that with a screen write. Also, you can just like, screen capture and then write on it and send them like if you want to send somebody a web page and say check this out and just show them the little text in the web page that you want them to see this is going to be useful as well eraser is going to erase all of that stuff so that's screen right here for the note 8 now live message is well it's like an animated gif thing that can basically be sent to any phone here and it's kind of cool it looks kind of like fireworks when you're writing your live message here and I'm, I don't know what I'm scribbling right there, but you can go ahead and change to purple, blue, you know, orange, whatever color you want here that they do include. You can also change the thickness here and you can go back like this and erase. So let's go ahead and draw something here. How about a sun? Let's go ahead and draw a sun. Let's get some, let's see if we can get some, let's just have to use this color for now. But you could just draw a sun here on the Note 8 and say it's a sunny day. Just send this out to somebody, make their day just a little bit happier. So you could just send that out to them, for example. That would be pretty cool as well. And then you just hit done, and then it'll save this GIF, and it'll send it out to somebody. So it's a pretty cool feature as well in live message. Gonna be very cool for those of you who are into, say you were into iMessage, you came over here to the note. That's a fantastic feature right there. Now, Translate works when you are using, you know, different languages. It has 71 different languages. So you just hover over a language here, for example, and it'll translate it. So let's go ahead and hover over updated, for example. Click updated, let's see if it'll work here. So mostly, so it'll analyze that and it'll show you how to change it into Spanish. And they have 71 languages, so it's not all of the languages in the world, but it's gonna work well for those of you who are out traveling and you're in a different country or well-known country or you could travel and stuff like that and you need to translate the language. It's gonna be cool to do that with your S Pen. The coloring book is gonna be very useful for those of you who like the color. You can fill in the text fields. You can do this on pretty much any computer. But to have this pen, you can really get very in-depth here. And it's gonna be a very relaxing application if you wanna just, you know, kill some time and just have some fun here with your pen. You're gonna to wanna to get something that's a little bit more in depth here so you can brush it in. Now you're gonna to have to hit the paint bucket down here to go ahead and fill in the gaps, but this can be really fun to do. I'm not gonna do a whole artistry right here on camera, but that's coloring here for the Note 8. Another new feature, didn't find that in prior Galaxy Notes. Now magnify is gonna be able to magnify your screen by just hovering your S Pen over 
whatever you're doing here and look how big it gets right there. So for those of you who can't really see that well, you're gonna love this feature and you could change its size to 200%, for example, to get even closer. You can go all the way up to 300%. So look how big that gallery icon is there now on the screen. So that's the magnify feature here included within Air Command. And then I added S Note and Glance is another amazing feature right here. Now you have to open an application to actually use Glance. So let's go ahead and go into Calendar for example. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit Glance. And what Glance is gonna do is bring the app down. I can hover my S Pen over, it's gonna bring it up. And then if I come out, I can do something else. So say I'm doing something with my calculations. I wanna calculate something for a certain day. Five times five plus six, I can move the Glance around, get my calculation. I could be like, okay, on the 31st, I need to add in $31. So I'm gonna go into here, hover this mode here, and I could see, okay, on the 31st, I need $31 here. So that's a pretty cool thing to see right there within the note. So that's Glance. It's a, it just puts it like a little window down in the corner here on the Note 8. And that's pretty much all of what's important here and how to use the Galaxy Note 8 S Pen Air Command. It's a very in-depth system here. It's like a system on a system. It's like you have the Note 8 on top of Android, which is Samsung experience. And then you have the S Pen on top of the Samsung experience on top of the Android experience. So it's a very well-packed, feature-packed phone here with the S Pen and the Note. Okay. Okay guys, so I did want to talk about how do you remove that glance feature. So you can just drag it up to the top and hit remove if you're not able to get that icon away at the bottom on glance feature, that's how you remove that. So I wanted to mention also, like I said earlier, all of this stuff can be removed. You can have it as little as you like and you have up to 10 slots here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 slots here for the S Pen Air Command. So you can remove any of this if you don't like. If you don't like this floating icon all over the place, you can get rid of that as well here on the note. So it can be as packed with feature, S Pen features as you want it to be. I basically have everything turned on, but you could have only what you need and only what you want on for that. Now, I do wanna talk about the note taking application on these phones. It doesn't come included with Samsung Notes here, which I don't find to be my favorite, but it's here. So let's go to category one here and let's create a note here. So this is also included on other smartphones as well as like the S8, the S8 Plus. But here you get to use the pen on the note, so it's pretty cool to see that. You do have the same pen mode as before, and you do have the brush mode here on the note as well, so you can use your pen to brush. This is not very, you know, this is not as accurate, I think, as say, S Note though. So S Note you have to download from the Samsung store, or you can download the APK Mirror if you want the latest version. This is basically the S Note that was on the Galaxy Note 5, and this has a little bit better features. Like it does have geometric shape recognition and stuff like that, so if you draw a shape, you can go ahead, it'll recognize the shape. So if I draw a messed up circle, it's gonna turn into a circle automatically. So S Note's a little bit more in depth if you ask me. It's a it has link to action, so if you write out a number, you can it'll highlight and you can call that number. So overall, S Note is the way to go if you ask me on a Samsung Note device. So go download it if you are a Note user and you're definitely using the note taking features a lot. Go get S Note. You're gonna thank me later. If you don't like S Note, that's cool too. But this is just my personal perspective. I think S Note is the best, and that's pretty much it here on the Note 8 and all of its S Pen goodness. I mean, you could get super creative with this phone. The potential is unlimited what you can do with this S Pen. You just kind of got to remember to use the thing here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. If you found this tutorial helpful, enjoyable, and if it helped you to become a little bit more knowledgeable on the S Pen, a little bit more creative with the S Pen, go ahead and drop a like down below. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section, and consider subscribing if you are new here. We got many more contents to come. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Have a great day, be sure to be well, and peace.